All right, Tony. Now you get to try. Yeah, let's see if you can do it. Oh, gosh. Let's see what ending you get. Do you see what I've been playing so far? Uh, so it's actually let me you join chair play with Trevor. You cannot play. I think. Yeah, you're for delay. It. Okay, is it for delay though? So okay. You know. Oh. <sighs> but at least uh, you get to try it out, man. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <laughs> no matter how hard Stanley looked. He could. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, <laughs> but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story. I in any way. have. Well, oh, I hate Mondays. It always sounds like you're typing, eh? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one desk you need to go to if you need to sharpen a pencil. Who farted? On the cup. Oh, I was wondering where you read that. Yeah. Nothing there either. Oh, what's this? Huh. Huh. What did you do, Tony? I don't know. I turned it off. You clicked the button. Fuck. So this was the original office. They never changed the layout. No, never. Oh please! Are you really oh. just doing this for the trophy? Told you. you. Five times. Is that all you think a trophy is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now suppose you were to click the door twenty times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. They already did what he says. Say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Well, watch him, it isn't ridiculous. Yes, almost certainly. I've already done more than 50. Oh, come on. I'm trying to get you this trophy, Trevor. No, 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 no. I'm <laughs> still not feeling it. I want this trophy to have meant something. It has to be a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment. A willingness to go all the way no matter the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? 20 clicks in number 417? Yeah. So you're going down in numbers, so you gotta go down the hallways, because that's 420. Four one seven. Now go click a few times on door four three seven. Okay, four three seven. Oh my goodness, this is hilarious. Uh here it is. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now door four one five. Let's give it ten clicks or so. <laughs> <laughs> Door one four one five. Oh my goodness! There it is. Now back to door number four three seven. Oh god! Hurry! I'm trying. There's no sprint. Four two seven. Let's see. How about you click on? Well, I don't know. The copy machine. What? The photocopy. All right. Back to room four one seven. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Imagine you get a trophy. <laughs> okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. Oh, isn't that the desk you were climbing on earlier? What's it? 42. Yeah, yeah. This desk. Yes, this is great. You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. We've almost got it! Now the copy machine, do that one again! Oh god, oh god. he's getting, <laughs> he's getting I know, he's one of the climax. 
finish it off, Stanley. Five clicks on door four three zero. Yes, we did it. Oh, look, there's a trophy. Click That's on really door four three zero five five. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing. Four hundred and thirty-five times. No, four thirty five times. Click on oh door four thirty five times, and then I guess it triggers that. Yep, that's the that's one of those secret trophies. That's hilarious. All right, let's see. Let's see if you can survive this and escape. What the fuck? Whoa! This is a different, is different. hallway. Yeah, maybe because you did that four thirty thing. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, <laughs> Stanley decided to go up what, to the boss. What is hot? Target demographic: teenagers. Oh, requires more secondary research. Stripes. Colored in segment. The stock market is somewhere here. Oh God. What do people want? Things. Uh, Violet James, you are fired. Happy feelings, oh my god. Money, more money. Things but with money to buy more things. Graphs, graphs about things plus money. We have our new product, oh my god. I'm not gonna fucking read the bike quarterly. No. This is like cool. the filler, right? Yeah. Oh. So how's if I go back in here? Oh no! Oh no! 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 Oh. Not again! I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. <laughs> Gladly. Ah. Oh my guy. Don't do this to me. What can I craft in here? What what can we craft with the things on screen? That's not very happy. Eh? You could, uh, have duct tape, duct tape or some wrenches or something, yeah. Pliers. Uh this is just a bunch of pliers and duct tape. And some gears. You could turn that mop bucket handle into something. The extended oh, grip. <laughs> extended grip. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh, you're taking the downstairs path. Yeah. But Stanley this... just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be oh. for that. And in such a competitive I found economy, this one was just like the loot. Taken that risk? All because he believed everyone yeah. had changed. His boss would think he was no, crazy. You're, you're stuck in and the loop now. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began Can to make other Can you restart or something, or do you just keep going? For example, I think I just keep going. see his feet when he looked down. Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. This is oh, all what a dream. relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa! He whoa! You're floating. Soaring through space on a magical star field, and it yes. appeared it was That's so me much out, fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything Aha. that I'm doing and thinking? Oh, self knowledge. Now the voice was describing itself being yep. considered by Stanley, He's becoming who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? <laughs> Stanley is as awake <laughs> right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The press of the mattress on his back. Yeah, that's where he falls asleep. The fresh oh, air of the eyes, world yeah. outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment, and my wife, and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it should have been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Huh. <laughs> Let's see oh, what this child says. Stanley okay. began screaming. Please, oh, someone wake me up. My name oh, yeah, is Stanley. This, this is where he ends up getting found on the side of the real. street, remember? Please, just someone tell yeah. me I'm real. I must be real. I must be connected. One, my voice. two, Who am four. I? Who am I? And everything went black. Oh. And everything went black. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place. Ah, uh, yeah. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the these. These look like the character models from um. What's it called? Gmod. Oh yeah. And, and she like half life. To go call for an ambulance. For just a few brief moments, she can yeah, see a eh? strange man. Yeah. Even Come to think about it when you mention it, yeah. Much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people kind of like. the cars and stuff, no too. The, like, the walls and everything. Was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the what? meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she <laughs> turned and ran. <laughs> wow. She turned and ran. She ran. Well, so at least I got you one of the. I got you one of the secret trophies. Yes, no, the four thirty for sure. That was awesome. <laughs> I forget. I knew it was one of those doors. I knew it was like one of those simple doors, the, like yeah. the first two doors. Oh shit! You're back in the office again. All of his co-workers were. All right, let's try to pick what a path that we haven't been on yet. Stanley decided to go to the <sighs> meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. 
Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Man, the, the delay. The was sublime. A work of art. What was it about this but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Oh, shit. Yeah. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, Purpose. straight ahead to the opposite door, it accidentally... and got back on track. Well, we haven't gone down oh. this way, so... Hey, the picture of the thing... Yeah. ...that we saw... What? It's loading. So this is a whole other area we haven't been to yet. Yeah. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um... He's trying to find where we at. It's, um... Left. Ha! <laughs> Just left. Oh, shit. Um, put in here. Yeah, a lot of these doors don't open or anything, though, eh? They're just, like, there oh, for no. sure. No, it's to the right, my mistake. That's why that 430 uh, room with the click the handle so many times is such a No, trick. no, 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 not the right. Jeez. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh, dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Rustling papers. Now, He's looking for down, Right, left, <laughs> yep. down, left, right. Yep, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Oh, God, okay, yeah. it's that way. All right, so what if I do then? The, whoa. Right, left, down, left, right, down. What are you doing? Oh, wait. Left. What was it? Left, left, right, right, up, down, up, up, down, down, A, B, A, B. I like, oh. I believe so. Oh, jeez. Whoa. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here what yet. This is, is all a spoiler. This? Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. That's okay. all the security okay. cameras? We just, we just have to get back to that's them. all of the... Who am I kidding? It's all Employees, the right? The four hundred. Four, five, seven. Unusable. Oh, it was up to like five hundred. Waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense. We're number five hundred. We'll I thought we were four hundred. The game from the beginning, and this time, suppose I we think, don't. Yeah, I think four hundred. Right. Hmm? Okay. From the top. Oh. Oh, from well, the top. Are you ready, Tony? Oh God. Oh. Well, that was shit. another ending, I guess. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley... Wait. What wait. the fuck? Whoa. No. No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. Completely fresh. Everything should be... Well, did something change? Stanley, Whoa. did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or a... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who <laughs> wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know oh, for no. sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Oh, let's find the story. Which story are you going to? I'm going to see. I don't like this. Oh, no. What the fuck? What is going on? Yo, this is like a maze of just hallways and doors. Eh? Yo, it took me out of the other door. Where did that door come from? What the fuck? What? I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely <laughs> was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Oh, oh God. shit. Let's see where they take you next. 
No. That's crazy. Oh, share play connection loss. Are you there? Hello? Tony. There, Are you there? hello? Are you there? There was a connection error. The game closed out. Oh, you all yeah. Got, like, that was nuts. Yeah, that, but that was fun. That was cool. I've seen those endings. Uh, like, I've seen people play this game, like, a couple times, and it's like, I've never seen the fucking maze. Yeah, and, like, the way that they, like, have it, like, it's like a Groundhog Day. Like, you keep going back and doing the story over again, like, the same beginning. Like, Stanley started mm -hmm. in his office, and it was like, oh, shit. So, yeah, it's, yeah, and even the one we got with him, like, flat out on the ground, and the one was just like, this is the story of Mesmeralda, and she found this guy, Stanley, on the side of the road, dead. Like, oh, shit. But, yeah, man, pretty cool stuff, man. Thank you uh, for uh, playing it with me, though, man. I appreciate it. Okay, so here's here's the thing. And I don't remember it. It's been like eight years since I've seen so it. Tony, so Tony and I tried it out yesterday, and pretty much you play as Stanley, this guy in a cubicle, and it's like Groundhog Day. You keep living out uh, the fucking day, uh, but somewhere along the line, the day's going to end. No matter what you do, no matter what you choose, the, somehow it's going to end. And what it does, yeah. what it does, uh, you restart back in your office again. And I guess it's like a game where you just it's like a roguelike try. game. Yeah, and you just gotta keep fucking, I guess, figuring out the different paths. What's like, going on? Yeah, and some <coughs> it like pieces shit together. It's fucking weird. But anyway, there's this voice that narrates what you do. Hmm. And what happened is is you either listen to him and you follow the path. Like, he could say, like, there's a door on the left and a door on the right. Stanley took the door on the left. And then, you, like, he was like, fuck that. I'm going to take the door on the right. So took the yeah, door yeah, the so right. you did it? Yeah, and then the guy's just like, hey, you're not supposed to do that. So then Tony, we did share play. And then I let Tony play. And then I kind of see... Like, he takes a whole <sighs> different path. Like, he made his own choices and... <sighs> Oh, fuck. Okay, so something... Oh, fuck. I set the clock, because, like, each time you turn it on, I guess it asks you what time it is. What? Yeah, it asks you, what, what's the time? What time is it that you're playing this game? Oh, the game. Yeah. Well, the PlayStation should know. So the <laughs> next thing you know, I have been putting it in, and it said, I noticed that you like to actually take the moment to put the correct time. You know, I just want to let you know that it doesn't really impact the game all that much. Most players just click X and put 12. But you're actually taking the time to set the clock. And I appreciate that. That's <laughs> how I know that you care about this experience. You're paying attention. I don't even have any way of knowing if the time you're setting are correct. Tell you what. I'll make you a deal. Since you've been so cooperative, next time you boot up the game and this screen, and th and see the screen, just set the clock to your favorite time. Go ahead, <laughs> pick whichever time you want, even Midnight. if it's not the correct time. You've earned it. Wow. <laughs> All right, I'll let you get back to your video game now. Apparently, this game monitors and like takes note of everything you do. Yeah, bro, I heard it's crazy. Yo, it, we it's got like a trophy expanded. yesterday. We got a trophy yesterday. It said click door 435 times. Wow. So what had happened is that was a trophy, apparently. So we went to door number 430, and we clicked, we, like, tried to open the door, and most of the doors are locked, but the guy will try yeah. anyway. So we tried to open door 430 on that office five times, and next thing you know, he's like, is this the kind of game that you want to play? Okay, go to room 415 and try to open that a few times. And then Tony and I were like, okay, so we went to 415. Oh, I see this is the kind of game that entertains you. Fantastic. Go so to room a door opening game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it was like telling us to go back and forth and like, go to the photocopier machine now. And click that a bunch of times. And like, you know what it reminds me of? It sounds like Disco <laughs> Elysium kind of. <laughs> 
but it's this is like, what we're like gonna a do. Like full RPG. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so, I'm down. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go to this. Jesse Little is connecting to your PS4 to join your share play. Black eye. Oh shit. No. Ah, that's the big old shit. Now, oh. if you click begin games, Jesse, we're gonna see what doors you choose here in the Stanley Parable. Tony ended up, Tony ended up going yeah. away that I had gone before, but it was kind of interesting because he did do that fucking whole room to room thing. I was yeah. telling you about, and uh, but he he picked this like creepy this path. This is a story of a man named Stanley. There's like a oh, bunch Stanley. of different ones. Welcome back! Stanley oh, I got a trophy for, a for coming back. A building where he was <coughs> number right. four two seven. Employee number four two seven's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room four two seven and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders <coughs> came to him through a monitor on his desk. <laughs> Sounds like a little big planet guy. To push. How long to push them? <laughs> this is what employee <coughs> did every day, every month, every year. I would have killed myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would have picked that really? ending right off the bat. Yeah. Though he had been made exactly for this job, Stanley was happy. Was he though? Was he? Was he and happy? One day, something we very peculiar that. happened. Something that would forever change. What did you hear about this game? Something he would never quite forget. So I for like saw it on YouTube similar to you and I was like I don't want to watch too much because I feel like it would spoil it, but I get the premise just from watching like the beginning of this video. Yeah, just to see that like what it was about kind of Yeah. But I didn't look up any of like all the endings or I didn't look up like all this different shit. I just saw what it was about and played something was very and it was like thirty bucks. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move <coughs> for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, There's nobody else he got in up there. from his desk and stepped out of his office. Yeah, so this is what's the trippy part, is that this voice is narrating everything, telling you that, like, all of a sudden, for a whole hour now, Stanley hasn't heard any messages come through his computer. Nobody's called his phone. Nobody's walked past his office. Nobody ah, said hi to okay. him, and he's thinking that's weird. After over an hour, this packed, busy office is now quiet. The fuck's going on? Where did everybody go? And that's oh, that's the whole nice. premise of what you're trying to solve right now, like, <laughs> which is hilarious. Right. Okay, so can I crouch? No. Yeah, you can. R1 and L2. I figured that out later on. Oh wow. And I got a trophy for tapping X a bunch of times and a bunch of the buttons. And it says, yeah, you guys can't jump in this game. <laughs> there was a trophy that said you can't jump. <laughs> and I was like, oh, what? <laughs> okay. So they really instilled that. Like, you, you can't jump. That's, yeah, we so kept jiggling that door handle. Or not, or so X one. is to interact, right? Yeah, X is to interact. And they'll, like, pop up some prompts sometimes if you need to press a different button or something. F1. Yeah, like there's secrets riddled all over the place. We were reading the coffee cups yesterday, and it, like one of them said, "Yeah, it was me that farted," or like I love my mom's pancakes or something. I don't know. There was just like really <coughs> weird, or I hate Mondays or something. Like I don't know. There was like, weird messages all over the coffee cups. So I can't cups. type on this computer. No. Right now. now there's oh, other okay. ones. Like I found a computer in the office here. Yeah. See what does that coffee cup say? I hate Mondays or something. Yeah. <laughs> see? <coughs> but um, look at that. These are all words. G eight one four F one. Yeah, like I don't know. And then there was well, a I computer for that said. In games. It, there was me too. There was one computer that said awaiting input. So I went up and I clicked it and it said input received. And Tony was like, "Dude, what did you do?" And I'm like, "I have no idea." But I input. Dude, is something. the time you put on the clock? Yeah. It is. Yeah. But That's I think dope. they fuck with it though. Like as you keep going, it's like time passes on. So that's why I oh, think it sure. means like it doesn't mean anything. I'm just oh what what the fuck? Okay, let's get out of here. Let's yeah, get you gotta get out of your office. All right, let's do this. Guy. Yeah, I tried. I did the same thing. Hmm. Actually, I didn't okay. shut that door behind me. That that's All your first curse. Is gone. <laughs> what did it mean? Bro, Stand I'm gonna fucking look everywhere, man. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. 431, 436. All right, well, I don't know. Okay, so maybe this is just like the company code or something. 
So is this that, this area or, is the beginning area. Like you'll always yeah yeah yeah. I'm just here. I'm just looking around to see. Uh, yeah yeah. No, do your thing. All right. But it's what like no matter yeah. how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't he find a find trace of his co-workers. It's outside. Ah, it's bright. Fucking we're, drugs, we're, man. Tony and I were wondering if you look <laughs> behind you. Tony and I were wondering, like, why does that one desk just have a pencil sharpener? It's like. <laughs> Number 432's job was to just sharpen pencils. <laughs> he Maybe. sat at his desk every day and sharpened everyone's pencils. <laughs> oh my god, so everybody's got to do a mundane task, you think? Probably. Look, there's a phone here. <laughs> if you have a phone with a lot of buttons on it, you're important. Oh yeah, it doesn't matter if you're not even looking at a computer. If you press X, it'll sound like you're typing. Okay, yeah, I was wondering can, about yeah, that. Yeah, you can be anywhere and press X and it'll sound like you're typing. <laughs> Alright, oh my god, it's back here. Okay, well let's continue on. Oh, this place is pretty decently big. Okay, one sec. Stanley went away. Okay, we came from here. Every little thing <laughs> <I offered. laughs> the story in any way. Okay, one sec, I'm gonna mute you. My girl's in the back here. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna give me like one minute. I'm gonna roll a joint too. Yeah. yeah. We're doing the Stanley <laughs> parable. Oh, bro, it's going to be dope. Yeah, dude. This game is dope. Yeah, and that's the thing. It's like, it doesn't matter how many times you play. It, like, if you know what There's you picked before, new. as long as you kind of remember where you went before, you you won't see something di you know, the same. Like, it'll be different every time. The only way yeah. it'll be the same is if it's like you kept... So you, you do just, the same thing. Yeah, like, you know, easy math. If it was like every door on the left, you just kept picking left, 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 left. You know what I mean? But if you but I'm switch sure, it up. I'm sure if you do the same thing, but you switch up what you're doing at the same time, you can still get different yeah. outcomes. Dude, right? I was in a broom closet, for example. And I said to what? myself, I said to Tony, give me a moment or something. I'm going to roll a joint in this broom closet. And then Tony's like, yo, I think if something happens... Because you know Tony, he looks at videos and shit all the time. Yeah, he's like, very... Yeah, he probably see, knows everything. So he was just like, yo, I think something might happen if you stay in here for too long. I'm like, oh, yeah? Well, I'm going to stand here right now. I'm going to roll a joint. <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah. And then the guy's like... Stanley stood in the broom closet, doing nothing at all. It didn't progress the story. It didn't get any of him anywhere other than him just standing there doing nothing. Like, he started getting more and more frustrated. All right, Stanley, you're being kind of an idiot right now. You need to get out of this broom closet. There's nothing in here for you. And, like, he's like, this man is an idiot. He is a buffoon. And then he started, like, going, like, calling me names and, like, telling me, you need to get out of the closet. So, so this narrator has, like, got some hidden agenda, I tell exactly, you that. Exactly. Because he's, like, yeah. forcing you. He's, like, to go his way and, like, to make sure, yeah, you're in a spot. Yeah. Oh, yo, All and right. there were certain areas, like, secret places where I guess, like, he couldn't hear you. Oh. And that would get him mad. He's like, Stanley, if you go any further, I won't be able to help you. You won't be able to hear my voice. And then he went away <laughs> and we're like, fuck him. Let's just walk around here. You know? Yeah, I just shut this computer off. Dude, what does that do though? Like that could trigger something. Who knows? Oh, a fucking phone call. Yeah. <laughs> oh this my god, I want to put my balls on it. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine! Put my balls on the photocopier. <laughs> he Imagine. placed his sock on the photocopier. <laughs> Imagine this was real life and they like kind of like made a whole fucking area like this. Oh, like you. Use like the PlayStation eye cam. To no, no, like you. no, like like real life, like almost like fucking MXC, but instead of like a huge oh. obstacle course like that, they made it like this. And, like, what would somebody choose and have like different scenarios for each That's way they true. go? And then imagine there's like and play a full two seven, walked around, and the first thing he did is put his ball sack on the fucking photocopy. <laughs> <laughs> like a social experiment, like everyone kept walking straight, but not four two seven. He photocopied his Four ball sack. <laughs> <laughs> he said, fuck this. That's hilarious. But, you know, like this player picked door number one. This guy picked door number three. What did this player pick? I don't know. He didn't pick a door yet. He just photocopied his ball sack. What? <laughs> yeah. He's been playing for 27 hours. <laughs> like, what? That is crazy. Oh. Yeah, like, what is that? Do? Yeah, I turned off another laptop or a computer. Okay. You All know right, what? Well, this game would freak the shit out of me, though, if they did this. on mushrooms? No, no, <laughs> that is that, like, if, like, you went so long without seeing another person, 
that if they just eerily had somebody oh. like walk past the window or something or like oh my people, god would like because you, so you're, you're used to pants. just seeing the same thing over and over yeah and over i would like shit that. my pants oh bro that's crazy oh look it's like a box right. is full of four keep, umbrellas that's amazing keep dry <laughs> Okay, well, okay, I forgot what If you I notice, was, Office 420 has a plant in front of it. Are you serious? Yeah, see? That's <laughs> awesome. There's no other plant in this room other than in front of 420. They did that on purpose. Oh, yeah, of course I came they did. Here, right? Did you? I think. No, I didn't. That's not coffee, that's blood! Okay, so. All these fucking rooms are, up, are locked. I'm pretty sure. These rooms look interesting. Why the when fuck Stanley can I? When came to a set oh. of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. On my left, eh? You know what? I'm a left-handed guy, so let's do it. Uh oh, it closed. Let me in! He's hitting X on X. <laughs> <laughs> Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Yo, so Tony and I painstakingly went looked through most of this shit and laughed like those slides are like hilarious. It's like some of them contradict oh, like no. office work. Like all these graphs and they all James, say you are stuff. fired. Yeah, yeah, like just certain <laughs> shit. Graphs about things and money. We have our new product. What's hot? Can I get to the graphic? Lupe! Stop it! She's chasing a fly. Number of slides on this slide charts charts in slides. <laughs> yeah, you know, just bullshit. One of them even says like everybody's unique, especially you. <laughs> and it was like we just started laughing. <laughs> All right, well. But I don't wait, think there's wait, any. Whoa. Like, yeah, yeah, it just starts getting crazy. Okay, well let's just. And then that's the infamous broom closet that I stood in for like 10 minutes. <gasps> you can room. open it! Yeah. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Okay. Yeah. So I, I I went through the whole notion of not doing that. that was yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to do the broom closet thing. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. No, we're not doing that. We're going. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's weird. Something happened down here. Oh, oh, the parking lot. Stanley line. just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? <laughs> <laughs> it just closed like... <laughs> Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. It is too strange. But at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found fun. an answer, an explanation. Wait, this is the... 
His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. Yeah. So he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Whoa, bye. Then he imagined himself <laughs> soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so what the much fuck? Fun. And Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was Wait, this is the same so room. Lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question. What the, the fuck is going on? <laughs> One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. Now the voice was described. <laughs> no! Are you serious? Who found it particularly strange? Oh, there's the exit. Let me out! About a voice, there's no way this is the exit. Thinking about oh, how it's describing well, the my sign thoughts, sets, huh? he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, he <coughs> wondered oh, if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams. The truth was that, of course, this I was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Moves. Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Come on, move now, that big head, baby! Words, was quite a it's almost there! Story. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. <laughs> Did the voice not see him clock, float and yeah. make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part Dingo, of himself Dingo. too. Dingo. Surely, surely, if he could just... <laughs> he would prove it. He would prove that he Oh my god, how do I get out of here? This was a dream. <laughs> so he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. Oh, there you go. No! He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. What the fuck the did I just play? <laughs> <laughs> the fresh air of a world that's like this one. Imagine. Let me so now I'm back in my death? He thought to himself. Let me wake I'm up. through with this dream. He's done I wish this. it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please. It's all I want. I want my Please apartment. Let me push the buttons. And my wife. And my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. What the fuck, Trevor? What are you I getting me into right now? <laughs> Do you need to talk to somebody, Trevor? <laughs> <laughs> are I you think sick Stanley of your does. life? <laughs> I think, I think Stanley, Stanley does. does. Where are Please, someone wake me up. <laughs> <My name is laughs> are you serious? I'm still here. I am real. Someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who Help me! And everything went black. <laughs> no, it did it. <laughs> my PlayStation, bro. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. What? Yeah. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. What the she fuck is going on? Gathered her belongings and walked to her place of work. But what? on this particular day, her work <laughs> was interrupted by the body of a man I... who stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Oh. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people Wait, I'm, I'm not in an office? Moment, she thought to herself how Looks lucky like she Stanley's was. Stanley's dead on the sidewalk outside <laughs> of the safe. office, and this woman walked by and seen his dead body. Room. I know what is real and what isn't. He must have it jumped out a window or something. This, and in a Dude! Story, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career. And by extension, right, so the rest <laughs> of her life. She had no time for this. So it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. Baby, you want this? Then she turned. Okay. So. <laughs> so. Babe. Alright, you're not smoking this joint then. All right, well, I didn't even get through my joint. <laughs> I'm still fucking...
And now you restart again. Oh my god! Okay, okay, okay. Don't touch anything. I'll touch anything I want! <laughs> Right. So you right, know right. if you like get to that point where it said Stanley goes upstairs to the boss's office or yeah so you would want to go up to the boss's office otherwise if you go down it seems like I've done that playthrough I've done that and then Tony did that and now you've done. So that. everybody goes down, right? Yeah. Like first everyone's, time. Everyone so far, everyone's gone down the stairs. I was trying not to say anything. I didn't want to like. Yeah, no, of course, of course. So I'm sure. Stairs. I'm sure you would have went downstairs at least Perhaps one time, you know. Yeah, because I went down the stairs, and then Tony, for <laughs> his first time, he did exactly what you did. He went down the stairs. So yeah, Trippy. it seems like everyone gets to that point and goes down the stairs. Nobody wants to go to the boss's office. Nobody wants to. Nobody wants to see their boss, bro. It's the worst. But it's like, yeah, as long as you know, like, when you get Whoa, to that wait. point, you don't pick the same thing. Wait, wait, this isn't the... Really been worth what? The detour after all. This is a different a room, isn't it? Here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Where are you? Stanley simply stood here. I don't know. Drinking it all in. I've never been in this room. He said he's still Is this the boss's office? No. No, this can't be. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all <coughs> your co workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really I can't stand it. rooms like this. They drive me nuts, bro. Oh my god. Like the really? white walls. And like, oh, yeah. Oh, but crazy. eager Even to get back to business, Stanley took the first open That was a weird room. Left. Ah! Wait, what? What? On my left, okay. Where am I? This is totally different, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say anything and either. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight oh. ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. No, I'm not gonna just walk ahead to the opposite. Shut up, bro. Alright, well, let's go on this fucking lift. <laughs> 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 like, fucking right. I'm going down this dark And I like doing lift. stuff just to see what he says sometimes. Yeah. Okay, one second. I gotta text my weed dealer. Gonna send him out of weed. Uh. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even hey, further hey. on track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh, da, 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 da. from here, okay. it's, um, left. <laughs> is it left, though? Like, is it? I think you're lying to me. All right, you know what? Let's go right. Oh. That's not an <laughs> you option. Fuck. <laughs> you son of a bitch. No, no, no it's oh. the right my mistake. That's what I fucking said. I knew you were lying to me. No, 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 not the uh, right. Why would I have ever said it was to the I, right? What was I thinking? Because you're smoking it's crack, really Johnny. <laughs> 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 if we haven't given him a name yet. But yeah, I guess his name could his be name's Johnny. Johnny Appleseed. Johnny Fuck. <laughs> Wait, where's the lift? Okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Oh, shit. Um, bro, how many passes in this game? <laughs> There's so many. Like, like if not... every one of these doors okay, eventually so at open... This point, at this point, like... I haven't seen this. Are you serious? Truth be told, <laughs> I haven't seen this. What the fuck's going on, bro? So I continued to go straight, and I guess you chose to turn left, and then go to down the that. left. Oh, wait yeah. a minute. Did I do that? I think I did go down the left. You must have, bro. It's a big red button. You would have pushed it. You yeah. would have. Yeah, I definitely You definitely would have. I definitely But maybe it's... It. Who knows? It's just, who I don't knows? know. So much shit's happened that I feel like some rooms I might forget, you know? How many, like... Times it, like, how long have you played for? Like, a couple hours? Yeah. And, like, it just was different. What? <laughs> oh, shit. No. <coughs> no, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be That's here. how many paths there are? 
quick Stanley, close your eyes. This is all the spoiler. Quick Stanley, close your eyes. <laughs> Bro! There's so many possibilities. <coughs> How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. No! And no! Time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? No! From the top. I don't want no! <laughs> yeah, I do remember that. I do remember that. I, do I don't remember. want to go back. I want to see what's going on. <laughs> ah! But that's it's the end of that path. <laughs> okay, let me save the video. Let me oh. save the video. Okay. Oh, whoops, my bad, I did something. <laughs> did I just cancel out of your thing? Oh, man, that's crazy. Okay, so now... Sorry. You guys use, like, my name and my face and probably, like, some Japanese-ass billboards or something I will never see. I don't live in Japan. No matter how fast. <laughs> Imagine! <laughs> Imagine! Jeez, bro, what do you think? Of course. Of course, bro. They show like Come a on, happy your, family your, photo. Your cowboy hat picture is probably in like... A ball bro fucking, commercial. <laughs> you're, you're a gay. You're, you're a gay. <laughs> and I have like a smoke in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's like smoke Laramie cigarette. <laughs> it's like, no, dude, are you serious? Oh fuck! Stop man. butthole leakage. <laughs> <laughs> Preparation H for cowboy. It's like your face on the. Well, you ride that totally saddle good. a little too hard. Preparation <laughs> H. <age. laughs> oh oh dude. my god! Okay, this office. Like, okay. You know what? The, you know, that would be a fun little art project. Oh, new content. You've but seen this, right? I've never seen this. No. Oh, new content? What does that mean? <laughs> new content? What do you think it means, bro? <laughs> okay. New content. Wow, this DLC is fucking amazing. Oh, shit. Oh, what? shit. New content, it says. Oh, no, it's loading. The end, never the end, never, the end is never, the end is loading, never. <laughs> okay, this is tripping me out because I've never seen this. No. Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Wow. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 what the fuck? on home computers. <laughs> yeah. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. <laughs> oh my the god. Stanley Parable this is Ultra never Deluxe seen this. features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Like, this was obviously uh, not put in the original side, game, right? Really Imagine it was. <laughs> no, but the definitely Stanley not. Parable, Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. So now we're in the new game, I guess? It's like gonna... Show us something that they never showed before in the 2013 release, clearly. This looks <coughs> like Doom. This looks like Doom. Or something, doesn't it? With the yeah. green and the oh, the pixel. Okay, so far it's an elephant. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Oh no! Oh no! Share play stops in three minutes. This is elevator. Oh no! Is it broken? What's going on here? Should we? Should we be moving somewhere? Or, or, oh, here is we this go. a golf right, course in Minecraft? Long is... last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Bro, Let's I'm gonna get raped it. in here. This is shitty content. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fucking. I'm gonna get raped. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe mostly tedious. It's as if them. Um... Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. <laughs> Come on, Stanley. Okay. Oh, wow. All right. All right, let's see. It's the jump circle. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, so you can jump. I can jump. Can I jump here? 
No. no. Oh, so they're teasing you with the new jump mechanic that you can't use anywhere else. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Is that it? I'm not doing Surely it. that's not, not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? I'm not jumping 31 times. Goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, initial impressions. So of the content is you just jump in circles and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If yeah. this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. And that's <laughs> 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Imagine yes. this guy just reads you the dictionary. <laughs> Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. Oh, goodness. Oh, my gosh. This is... It's a room with the fucking. That's it? No, oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley. <laughs> Thank you this for enjoying the new content. Oh my god. This is like. This is insane. It's like a game making fun of itself. To make an easy yeah. Drawer. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's trophies, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test trophy, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? What? I'm infuriated and I'm offended and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally <laughs> accountable. <sighs> it's my fault, Stanley. I built up it too much fault. anticipation you made... on the new content, I'm That's afraid. A game. We could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try <laughs> to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about. No friends. What is it about? No gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say? <laughs> Bro, if you recommended a game, <laughs> like you're like, just try it. And I played it, which I just did. This is a fucking trip. Oh, man. I need my weed to come soon. Oh, my. Oh. Uh. Because I saw you playing it last night when I got on. It was like playing Stanley Pan. I'm like, yeah, I was playing oh. with Tony. So I was like, yeah, all right. Like this guy's probably like, so then and I was in my game and it was like 1:30 in the morning. And I was like, you know what? Yeah. I'm just gonna, I'm just I, gonna like let him do this thing. Yeah, <laughs> at we, this point. What was it? Tony and I started, I think around like 11 something, and then we stopped yeah. around 1:30. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I fell asleep like playing my game, bro. I, the, the Returnal game. Is not. Is it? Have you seen Returnal? Yeah, yeah, I played it at Lewis's a few times. Bro, me and or Lewis beat I've the game last it. night because they it. added co op. They added it on a, a two player co op now. You can play the story. So me and Lewis beat the game like each and we, we saw the ending and now there's like, what the fuck? Yeah, because I haven't actually seen like the PlayStation Five in action other than that. Oh Lewis's man! House. So when come, I went to Lewis's chill, house, bro, he I got me it. <laughs> the return on. He showed me the Demon Souls and stuff. Because like you know, other than that, I hadn't seen anything else, right? Yeah, bro, it's crazy. Ghost of Tsushima. Come over here in the vent. I want to show okay. you something. This Why is getting is crazy. Okay, well I'm gonna look over here first. So I can keep going through the door, I can go through the vent, and I kind of want to go through the vent. Yeah, he's probably going to break the game and be like, yo, the game is making me do this. <laughs> you, need, you need to listen. Oh, oh. fuck. What the he hell? He just went through the path of no return. What the fuck? That. <clears throat> like, what are we playing right now? Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got me <laughs> thinking about the past, and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special, and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. What Take a look. 